This game is huge for both coaches and both programs. Dick and I expect one player to step up and provide us with one shining moment in today's third round game between the St. Mary's Gales and the Kansas Jayhawks. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Jayhawks should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Next, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Finally, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Perfectly executed. And I think right now, I'm going to focus defensively. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. it in good defensive stance there against the spin move well the key is to beat him to the spot and he did a great job he anticipated that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the d i love it he beats him to the punch defensively what a terrific job footwork really excellent on a post play keeps the dribble as they regroup johnson picks up the foul Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They look to get it to the inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Harvey is fired up right now emotionally. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Makes the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. The Jayhawks have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They'll work it around the arc. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He goes for three. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, he's any time. He's got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Trying to feed inside. Johnson comes up with it. He saw that developing. He was right there when the ball left his hand. Looks at the three. He gets the shot to fall. Frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The small forward takes the feed. Here's a double team. Takes the shot. Way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to go inside. 
Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Pressure that basketball. Number 50 with the theft. Transition opportunity coming up. For the bucket. Doesn't go. He drains it. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He comes away with it. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Number two takes the pass. He buries the shot. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. They've left him completely alone. Goes. plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal oh he's humiliated poor job defensively let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews Aaron well Brad and Dick the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup this is something they stressed during pregame and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now the message get the ball inside guys they're doing that Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play. You got a chance really to win. There's the screen up on top. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Turns it over. Gave it up. And now there's a whistle on the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Number 20 gets the ball. Stolen away. The center with the ball. Script red. The point guard gets the pass. Trying to draw the foul. Up and in. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Buried it. Nice high post screen. Knocks it down. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the dribble, gives it up. Great anticipation defensively. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Number 20, fakes the shot. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Carew. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Let us show you the replay on that one. Nicky's working on that 
low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Picks off the pass. Number 20 is pounded on his way up. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them, they're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. With the free throw. He buries it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He tries the three ball. Oh, yes. goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Kicks it out. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Top spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He shoots from the top of the circle. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. They work the perimeter. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two, and he missed. He's money with the shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The ball goes out of bounds. Got a man in high post. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He launches a three. Makes it. That's a seven-zip run. Way out on top, controlling the ball from three-point range. He drains the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He's got a high post flasher. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feet of the post. There he is, puts the ball loose. With a long bomb. With the J. Bust the jumper. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Well, 
pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He puts up the three ball, way off target. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. The Jayhawks will step to the line for the first time. He missed it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. For the bucket, the Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, that absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They work it around the perimeter. Fakes it. Stop and pop. He buries it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from the top of the circle. He tickles the twine from three-point land. Side. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, the post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Up and inside. Three, three. Gave it up. He shoots from downtown. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. And he scores despite the hack. Takes away the pass.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He hits it. That's facing. Jumps in. Number two makes the finger roll. Steals a pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Kansas is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to with ease, Brad. Blocks the shot. Spander picks up the defensive foul. Fourth team foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. He intercepts it. perimeter it's stolen change in possession the defense knocked it loose then went and got it picks off the lazy pass he looks for three nice shot Defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Full court pass. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Number two is called for the foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Bryant steps to the line for the first time. Concentration. Got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. It's the second. From way outside, way off target. At the half, the Gales are ahead by two. Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? This one's big for me, Brad. The long trifecta. Shots like this can sometimes get a team going in a hurry. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Kansas turned the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just aren't in the game. Some of the turnovers were unforced. They're playing silly, if you ask me. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Trying to draw some contact. You are being used as a launching pad. Side. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nestle. Jumps into the defender. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dribble gives it up. Intercepted. Gave it up. Obvious foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He looks for the bomb. Drains the shot. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Shoots from the outside. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. He takes the three. You betcha. Let's go to the videotape for that one. Dribble gives it up. He tries to knock down the three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Receives the ball. There's the trap. Takes it off him. And back they come the other way. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. The Gales lead by six. Picks off the lazy pass. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Too physical. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. 
The center receives the pass. And they come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He gets the bucket. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Bryant handles the feed for the deuce. Perfectly executed. Takes away the pass. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Here they come now on a turnover. Now they work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's fluffing, baby. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Wait a minute, let's replay that one. Up and inside. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Rims out. He puts it in with contact and all. Takes the pass in the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He shoots from right of the circle. He buries the tray. He intercepts it. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. Accepted. The point guard handles the pass. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Picked out of the air. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. the block 
The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping him out of sync. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stop before any further damage is done. Guys? On the outside. Controlling the ball. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. He unloads a three. Scorches the net. When you look at the record books, the Jayhawks are, year after year, the team to beat the Big 12. It definitely seems that way, Brad. They've won the most Big 12 championships and are perennial favorites. That's all screen. Going to use it? Green for two. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the win. Steals the pass. For the bucket. They still don't score. They move it into the front court. It's stolen. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Step out on that screener. Gave it up. Tries the three. Got it. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. I'll tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Hits that one. He sinks them both. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They 
work the perimeter. The top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. It's stolen. They're off into transition. He shoots off the rim and no good. Takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Up and inside. Trying to get that ball movement. Get that good spacing. Aliou leans in. The lay -in. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Nice fake. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Dump it inside. The game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Let's go back and watch that basket again. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And off the mark. the dribble gives it up and one too many dribbles and a steal that spin moves not going to work against the defense I'll like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin He's not going to be happy with that ball. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. That's good. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. To around a fadeaway. They scored seven in a row. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. And the ball goes out of play. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Perfectly executed. Block shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Steals the ball. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. On the outside, great defense. They're going to need a miracle to get a victory in this one now. Yeah, now it's about damage control. Good time to get some of the bench players into the game to avoid injury. With the fake. With a little baby hook. 
That's how you waste any time. You got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. There's a double team waiting there. He goes for three. Buried it. Gave it up. Pro in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. They are hitting some great shots. Not a whole lot you can do on defense when they're hitting good shots. And now they'll bring it up. Take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of play. Working it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. He attempts the three. He misses it. Basket falls despite the contact. They're working around the perimeter. Number 50 takes the pass in the paint. From three-point range. He gets that one to fall. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. In and out. He launches the bomb. Goes in. Fake. Here's a double team. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Gave it up. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brown, I like guys. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Shot clock is dead. He intercepts it. Up and inside. There's the pick. There's the roll. Intercepted. He looks for three. Rims out. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Gales just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestle, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in that nation. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestle.